Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today I'm going to be doing a short video detailing how to set up a tripwire on your Monteview PTZ camera. Also, for the folks that own an MTZ8250, I'm going to go over how to set up auto tracking in conjunction with the PTZ tripwire that we're going to be setting up today. Okay, so the first step in this process is we're going to want to set up a preset. Now we do have a video detailing just how to do presets, but just as a refresher, all we've got to do is position the camera where we want to set up that preset. And keep in mind, this is also going to be where your tripwire is going to show up. All right, so once we have that location picked out, we're going to hit the big arrow on the right side, and then we're going to choose this little gear wheel icon towards the lower right corner. Next, we're going to make sure it says preset one, and then we're going to hit setup. And then of course, you'll get confirmation that it worked, by looking at the preset one in white lettering towards the upper left corner. Next, we're going to jump into the main menu and we're gonna select AI. All right, so after we choose AI and we're inside the artificial intelligence menu, we're gonna click on parameters on the left side and open up smart plan. Now, my PTZ camera is actually on channel seven. So initially it's gonna try to jump on channel one and it's going to tell me that the PTZ does not have a preset set up. So if you guys fail to set up a preset prior to going to this channel, this will be the error message you guys get. But you'll notice I'm going to switch to channel 7 where I do have a preset located. And then I'm going to make sure that it says preset 1 in that box. Next I'm going to add that preset to the list and you'll see it there. And then we're going to click the little light bulb down there and we're going to turn it blue. This is activating the smart plan for preset one. Don't forget to hit apply after you're done just to save those changes. Okay, so next we're gonna click on IVS. And again, it's gonna prompt me for that channel one stuff, but I'm gonna change it to channel seven. And then the first thing I wanna do is click the add button in the lower right corner. That is going to create a tripwire. So in order to draw the actual tripwire, we're going to click on this little pencil icon underneath draw, and it's going to take us to a full screen live view of that camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's set to preset one. I'm going to name it video. You guys can name it whatever you want, or just keep it rule one. And then I'm going to make sure my AI recognition is checked and activated. Next, I want to draw the tripwire. So in order to draw the tripwire, just simply left click anywhere on the screen and that will begin the line. Then for every subsequent left click that you perform, it will actually change the angle of the line. This allows you to put multiple vector points in a single tripwire. So once you got the tripwire down the length of, well, in this case, the parking lot or whatever you guys want to cover with the tripwire, right click a single time to finish drawing the wire and solidifying it onto the screen. And once you guys right click and solidify it, you'll notice that it does say, it'll say rule one, or in this case, it'll say video, whatever you've named the tripwire. And at that point, the tripwire is ready to roll. So again, I'm gonna double check my options here in the black box and everything looks good. I'm gonna left click on okay. That's gonna take me back to the IVS screen. Now here, I wanna click on trigger. Now this is the little gear wheel underneath trigger, and this is going to have some options that pertain to the tripwire directly. So most of the default settings you're gonna to wanna to keep as they are. So of course we wanna record the channel and we wanna log every tripwire activation. Also, if you have the MTZ8250, you're gonna see the track time and the tracking options down below. So if you do wanna do it auto tracking, you wanna make sure that it is set to on and then you wanna set your track time by default, it's gonna be at 30 seconds. The track time cannot be set to any less than 15 seconds. Okay, so once we got all that set up, don't forget to hit apply at the bottom right corner, and then we're ready to go test out that tripwire. Now again, I'm on an MTZ8250, so I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like with the auto tracking when the tripwire's crossed. So I've got a few examples here of some vehicles and of some people, and you can see that it actually puts a yellow box over any vehicle and it puts a blue box over any humans. This is the AI actually in progress, determining what vehicle and what is a person. 
Once a subject crosses the line, it's going to turn that into a red square indicating that that is the target that it is now actively tracking. It will track the target until they've left the area or until the track time has expired. In this case, both targets leave the area or they go out of view. And then when it's done, the PTZ will return back to preset one. Keep in mind that in order to have these tripwires activated and ready to roll, you guys need to put these cameras on the preset that has the tripwire. If you log on on Montevideo Go or on your NVR, and you actually move your camera around with the PTZ controls, it's really important to remember that you actually set it back to the preset with the tripwire in order to have that activated when you're not uh, at the controls. All right, guys, that is pretty much all I've got for you. Kept it short for this video. If you guys have any questions, of course, give tech support a call. We're always happy to help you guys out with anything that you need. And thank you again for joining Montevideo. We're looking forward to supplying more videos here in the future. So you guys stay tuned. Thank you for joining us and have a good day.